everyone. This is Lisa Raymond from Visibly Media. And what I wanted to share with you today was an annoying feature that my contractor and I stumbled into this weekend when one of our clients got locked out of her Facebook page. So let me explain. Facebook sometime around 2020, maybe 2021, turned on a feature in Facebook Messenger called Guest Chat. Now, what that means is anyone not logged into Facebook can message your page. That yeah, sounds pretty innocent, yeah? Until the scammers got a hold of it this last weekend and they've been innocuously, you know, intermittently doing this over the course of the last couple of years. You might see a guest message here or guest message there and you're thinking, eh, it's a bot or whatever, just ignore it. Or you might just put it into spam, which is fine. This last weekend, almost every page I manage and that got hit by these scammers at least once, if not multiple times. The guest feature allows them to become a guest for 24 hours only, okay? But because of that and how they're doing this, I don't know, they go to the pages like in a private or what they call an incognito window in Windows, and they will go to Facebook to go to a page, and then they message the page. What they're messaging the page with is something similar to your fa page, your Facebook page will be deleted due to a violation of trademark or violation of a policy, something. And they might say, last warning, this is your last chance. I'm not kidding, they're very persistent and they're very aggressive. Inside those messages is a link that they want you to click or tap, which will either surrender your contact information or worse, which I really think is what's gonna happen. They will get your login information because you're gonna have to prove who you are. Sometimes these links are like a link pop or a link tree link. They do not go to anything Facebook whatsoever. They may use other outside sources to create the links, but they are not originally or officially from Facebook at all. What I'm going to do very quickly is show you how to turn this feature off. The key point to remember for the business pages, you have to have your business page connected to your website or you can't turn this off. So let me demonstrate for you. Okay, so here we're on my page and I have not had any of these because I turned this feature off. What you do is you go over to your left-hand side, navigation to Meta Business Suite, click that. This is a lot easier from a desktop. You probably can do it from a mobile. If you can, I'll redo a video, but for now, desktop. Once you get in here, go to your inbox. From the inbox, you're going to go to the right-hand side of your screen where you see the settings gear, settings icon, whatever you want to call it. Click that. Once you've clicked that, go to chat plugin. That's over on the left-hand side. From here, there are other things that we can do, including customizing the chat plugin. This is where you want to be. If you have a website that has not been set up for your Facebook, this is where you can put it in. Just click the pencil and you can add it in right there. Click the arrow on the customize the chat plugin. And you can see I have a custom color for my business there. This is the guest chat feature right here, this little guy. This is what should be turned off. If it's on, it's going to be blue. If it's off, it's going to be black. Mine is turned off. So people not logged in can't message my page. This is how you turn it off. But the key point, again, make sure you have a website or web page showing. For me, I like an action page. This is my contact, one of my contact pages. That's what I recommend, but you have to have something in that space. If you don't, I don't care how much customization you do. You can click on this, to make it say chat, change it to the icon. Okay. You can have it do other features here. You can change what it looks like on a desktop or a mobile. I don't care. If you don't have this up here, you cannot publish the change and you can't turn this off. I'm going to go ahead and click publish. That saves the settings that I have. That's all there is to it. It's pretty simple. It takes you less than 30 seconds, but people have to be aware of it first. So hopefully this video was helpful for you. If you have any questions, please let me know. I'll put my contact information on the last screen. 
make sure that you subscribe to my channel because I'll be doing more videos in the future. And as I get the blog written for this topic, I'll put the link to that blog article in this chat. For those that don't like video, it will be, well, in the description. For people who don't like video, it'll be in the description once we get that done. So thank you again for watching. Please be careful. Social media safety is number one. Have a great day.